Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and I have something cool for you guys today, something new in the Minecraft snapshots. It involves different ways that you can measure time passing in Minecraft. And so they recently added a new command, time query game time, which basically has a query result that tells you how many game ticks have passed in this world. And so I'll show the command blocks in more detail later. But I'm going to start a little 20 ticks per second clock going right here, which is going to continually update the game time. And if I try to uh, count when this rolls over to 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm counting approximately a second at a time. And you should see the score on the right hand side going up by 20 every second. Uh, that's because there are 20 game ticks in a second if the game is not lagging out. And so basically by repeatedly running that command, time query game time, and updating the scoreboard, uh, we are able to see the amount of time that's passed in this particular world. I'll go into a little bit more detail of the commands later. This is kind of a more advanced command block tutorial kind of thing. Now the problem with game time and game ticks is that if the server lags, if your world is lagging out, if there's a lot of things happening, uh, it will kind of fall behind the actual time, the wall clock time, the time that you would get if you're measuring things by your own watch. However, they have recently added another command, world border get, which allows you to query the size of the world border. And there's also world border commands, which allow you not only to set the world border, but to set the world border so that it changes over time. This is going to set the world border to move out 2,000 blocks over the next 100 seconds. And so if I actually do this, let me wait for the game time to roll over to about 400 now. OK, they're almost in sync. And so you can see the world border time and the game time both advancing at the same rate on the scoreboard, except for the border time is measuring wall clock time, whereas the game time is me measuring game ticks. And we can actually see the difference if I start lagging out the game. And so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start summoning a bunch of wolves until the game starts to really lag. There we go. I'm starting to see some lag spikes. Okay, and now, yikes, if I look over at the border time, yeah, we can see that it's gotten ahead of the game time. It's at like 60, 70, 80, 90. Whereas, yeah, the game time is really creeping up 20, 30, 40, 50. Whereas the border time is still going 70, 80, 90, 100, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, the border time is still increasing at a score by 20 every second, whereas the game time is now lagging out. I'm going to go ahead and kill off all of these wolves. And so if you need to measure actual wall clock time, a good way to do it now is via the world border, assuming you're not using the world border for something else in a custom map, uh, because you can change it to change values over a period of seconds, and then you can measure those changing values in order to figure out how many seconds have actually passed. I plan to use this in Minecraft Bingo. Uh, it's the case previously that I was measuring game ticks uh, or approximating, like doing a calculation to try to figure out how many minutes and seconds it takes for the player to get bingo. Uh, but now I can use the world border to measure kind of actual wall clock time and get more precise calculations rather than ones that are dependent on how much your server is lagging while you're playing bingo. So I hope that made sense. I'm going to quickly go ahead and just show off the command blocks if you want to try this out in your own world. I'm not going to go into detail. This is mostly kind of like advanced stuff for map makers. Um, yeah, you can kind of, I assume they've already started documenting these new commands on the wiki to find out some more details, but the details of the command are less important. The important thing is simply to know that now you can measure wall clock time rather than game ticks. So over here, this is a very simple uh, 20 hertz clock and we are executing the two commands in order to update the score on the clock. That's all. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.